Good morning from San Diego. <laughs> Good afternoon from Italy. When the going got tough in Italy, Danielle Cohen, a 25 year old Scripps Ranch native, decided to stick it out. A lot of people thought I was crazy. Um, some people still think I'm a little crazy to be here. Danielle moved to Florence on January 1st when the streets were filled with people. Since then, she's lost her job and all six of her roommates have moved away. When's the last time you've spoken to someone face to face? At the grocery store when I went um, last week. Danielle's lonely, but she says she feels safer there than here. I think you're really brave. Thank you. To stay there all alone. People thought that was a crazy statement because I said that three weeks ago, but I knew I was, I saw it moving all over countries in Europe and I knew it was going to head to America. There was no way America was exempt from this whole thing. Italy is under a total lockdown. Danielle can go to the grocery store and that's it. She says Italian police will cite people in public for non-emergencies, and she's surprised the U.S. isn't enforcing the same policy. I just keep seeing other people throughout the world who are not listening and they're not taking it serious. How does that make you feel when you see them not taking it seriously? It angers me so much. Danielle moved to Italy to follow her dreams as a filmmaker, and not only did she find the topic of her next project, she's living it. Just seeing the dichotomy of what's happening on the grounds here in Italy and how Italy is reacting and how Italy is handling the situation compared to America. Danielle says the streets may be empty, but Italy is filled with hope and free time. Plenty to work on her next film and her Italian. I have no idea what you just said. In the Zevoli zone, <laughs> Ciao, Mama and Papa. Jeff Zevoli. From Italy. <laughs> Music.